Hello everyone, welcome to this GATE 2020 statistics exam. Today we will see some questions related to the regression models using the least care methods. So we will discuss the two question here. This is question number 12. We have, this is the estimator of this. While this question number 24 are here. So let me firstly solve this question. This is again of the one marks. So as now you have to find the correlation coefficient between here. So if we, I, I already discussed with you that if you have the regression equation like this way, then the covariance between the estimator of beta node and beta one will be zero provided this beta node is the mean of y. That's a simple trick. So again, we will check that our target is to here. This is it zero when it will be zero when alpha is the mean of y because here alpha is my constant are there. So what how you can check that whether alpha is a mean or not. So what you can do is you have to write here write the normal equation of this you can put this summation on both side here this is there now you can substitute the value this answer is my zero and what is the value of the alpha this is what is that this is nothing but my mean of y so if alpha is a mean of y the answer will always be the zero so the right answer is my zero is there so you can see within a 30 second you can solve this trick what is the trick behind that is here remember this one is there. Now look at this question number 12, you have to find the estimator of the beta 1. How you can find the estimator of beta 1? That is again very simple. You have to write this normal equation. So that is summation of y and beta naught plus of this. And the second one is if you multiply this by x square, that is the coefficient of the beta 1, then it will be my x square of y. This is beta naught of x square plus beta 1 of x4. Now our target is to find the beta 1. From these two equations, if I multiply this first term by x square and here with the n, then we will subtract them. What will happen? It will be my summation y, summation x square minus n x square y, which is nothing but my beta 1. If you firstly, it will be whole square minus n of the x4. So you can see which one is the right answer for them here. So this is summation y x square. So you can see this may be the right answer, but it will be n here, but we need n on this side. So this will be cancelled out x square y, x square y, but n must be there. So this is option we cancel out. This is n of x square y minus of y that's two divided by x4, but that option is also cancelled out because n is must be there. So that option is right because you can see n x square y that is n x square y y x square n sigma x4 and so on so you can take minus on both side common so this is will be the right answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve these two questions in a very simple manner remember these tricks which the same question is asked already in the gate 2020 29 and so on and this is 2020 also so in the last three years they are the same same kind of the question are asked we will see some more questions uh, related to the GATE 2020 statistics. Till then, stay tuned with this channel. Best of luck students.